Okay, hello, this is Miss Cruz, and I wanted to go over um, a few parts of the packet for for May 4th through May 8th. So we're going to do a review of genetics. Okay, so Monday, go over vocab boxes. Tuesday, you can watch Bill Nye on jeans. Uh, you can find it on YouTube, but if you want a better version, just email me and I'll send you the link. Or if you're having the typeable version, you could just click here and it'll take you to the better version. Wednesday, you got to label the DNA strand. I'll go over it in this video in case you need help. Thursday is going over homozygous and heterozygous genotypes. I'll also go over it in the video. And then finally, Friday is Punnett squares. And I'll go over Punnett squares in this video too. Here we have vocab. Vocab for the week we have allele, chromosome, DNA, dominant, gene, heterozygous, homozygous, recessive, trait, and variation. And then vocab boxes. So, again, you put the definition, then either draw a picture, or if you're using typo version, insert a picture of the word, or use the word in a sentence. Okay, here's to watch Bill Nye again. Typo version, just click here. If you don't have the typo version, you can email me, I'll send you the link, or you can look up Bill Nye Jeans on YouTube. And 10 notes. Okay, so here DNA strand labeling. So uh, when we went over DNA, so you can see here in the scan of the book, we have the DNA strand. It is made up of nitrogenous bases. They're the letters that link up together to make up the DNA strand. T stands for thymine, A stands for adenine, G stands for guanine, C stands for cytosine, and so on. So the thing that makes DNA work is that only certain nitrogenous bases pair up with certain nitrogenous bases. So thymine, T, always pairs up with A, adenine. Guanine, G, always pairs up with C, cytosine. So as you can see the pattern, they always link up together. It doesn't matter if cytosine's first or guanine's first, but C will always pair up with G. Okay, so keep that in mind. So here in the DNA strand, here's an example. So you can see A pairs with T, T pairs with A, C with G, G with C. And if you need the scan of that book to help you, you can click here if you have a typo version or email me. I can send you the picture of it or you can look it up on page 135 in your life science book. Okay, so here you just have to put the right letter in the blank box. So T is thymine. So again, here we have thymine. So we know that thymine pairs with A, adenine. That means here, just put an A. And here we have the opposite. We have adenine. So what pairs with adenine? Thymine, and T. Okay, so that's all you have to do for this page. Just match the letter to the correct letter. The right nitrogenous base to the other right nitrogenous base. So again, remember, T pairs with A, C pairs with G, G pairs with C, A pairs with T. Okay, next, homozygous or heterozygous. This is referring to the genotypes. Remember, genotypes is the allele combination or what letters they have. And we can classify them as either heterozygous or homozygous. Heterozygous means having different alleles for a genetic trait. That means having different letters. Homozygous means having the same allele for a genetic trait meaning you have the same letters. So here we have big T, big T. Since they're two big T's and they're both the same, that means they're homozygous. We can put HO for homozygous. Here we have big T, little t. So they're different. There's one big T, one small t. That means they have different alleles or different letters. That means they're heterozygous. So I can put HE here. Right? This one has two little t's, both the same, two little letters, so they're homozygous. 
having the same alleles for a generic trait, HO. Here, we have two big Bs. So again, they're both the same, so they're both homozygous, so HO. That's all you have to do for this page. Just label them either as homozygous or heterozygous. And I put the vocab up here to remind you. Heterozygous, having different alleles for a genetic trait. Homozygous, having the same allele for a genetic trait. Okay. So that's that page. Just got to label them. Next, we have the Punnett squares. I'm going to do two Punnett squares completely here on the video with you guys. And you can follow along. And then you guys will have to do the last three on your own. If you need help with the Punnett squares, just email me and I will try my best to help you. Okay, so here's going to be a link to this video. Okay, so Punnett squares. Dogs have different physical traits that are determined by their DNA. Some of the physical traits include tail shape, sorry, tail shape, leg height, tail length, coat color, and fur length. The DNA that a dog gets from its parents determines what physical traits they will have. Therefore, we can use Punnett squares to predict what physical traits, phenotypes, or phenotype means physical traits, the puppies can have. Complete the following Punnett squares and problems about dog traits. Use the chart on the side to help you determine the genotypes, the allele combination. Okay, so just going over the different phenotypes and genotypes. Phenotype is what they look like. That will be the tail shape. Genotype is what letter combinations they have. So, for example, here for tail shape, if I have a curved tail, they can be big T, big T, or big T, little T. If they have a straight tail, they can only be little T, little T, and so on. Okay, so Fluffy is a dog that is homozygous dominant or having a coat of many colors. He is black and white with a few brown spots. Fluffy has a girlfriend named Princess and she is brown. He only has one coat color. If they have puppies, what are the possible genotypes that the puppies can have? Use the table above for help. Okay, so we know it's about coat colors. So we're gonna look here. Fluffy is homozygous dominant for having a coat of many colors. So we know that he has many colors, but which one is he? Is he big D, big D, or big D, little D? So it gives us a hint here. It is homozygous dominant. So what was homozygous again? So going up here, homozygous having the same alleles for genetic trait. So he has the same letters. But what does dominant mean? Dominant, if you remember, it means the big letter. Okay? The big letter, the uppercase letter. So we know that he's homozygous dominant for a coat of many colors. So homozygous, same letters. Dominant, the same letters need to be uppercase or big letters. So if you look up here, coat color, many colors, big D, big D, or big D, little d. They have to be the same and uppercase. So that means he is big D, big D. So we're going to put it here. Big D, big D. Oh no, that's that's the wrong one. Here. Genotypes, big D, big D. Phenotype, we know that he has a coat of many colors. So we'll put it there. Coat of many colors. What is Princess Phenotype? What does she look like? So let's figure that out. So Fluffy has a girlfriend named Princess and she is brown. Only has one coat color. Okay, so there we go. One coat color. Brown. Okay, so now let's find her genotype. So she only has one color coat. If you look up here, one color is little d, little d. We got that. So we got the first questions done. So now we gotta complete the Punnett square. So now what is Fluffy's genotype? Big D, big D. So you put one big D in each box. Next, what is Prince's genotype? Little d, little d. Put little d here, little d. And then remember, first, we bring down the big D to the two boxes right under it. 
Then same thing for this big D, big D. We bring it down to the two boxes under it. Oops. Okay. Next, this little D is going to go to the side, the two boxes to the side of it. And finally, this little D is also going to go to the two boxes to the side of it. Okay, so we got our cross, we did the Punnett square. So it looks like every single box is big D, little D. That means all the puppies that Fluffy and Princess have can only have the genotype of big D, little D. Okay, so what are the genotypes the puppies can have? We only have one, big D, little D. Make that bigger for you guys. Okay. What genotypes can the puppies have? We have big D, little d. Now, what are the phenotypes the puppies can have? So we know the genotype is big D, little d, but what's the phenotype? So let's go look back at our chart for our color. Now we need to find big D, little d. It's right there. That means they're going to have a coat of many colors. Coat of many colors. Oops. So there you go. That was the first one. First, we read the problem. We had to determine the phenotype and the genotype. So you just read the problem. Use this chart here to help you. And then you do the Punnett square. I labeled everything so it's easier to put in the letters. And then you do the cross and answer the questions. Okay, we're going to do one more. And then after that, you can try them on your own. And if you have questions, just let me know and I'll help you. Okay, so Punnett Square problem number two. Philip the Corgi has short legs and he has a girlfriend named Mimi. Mimi also has short legs and is heterozygous recessive. No, that's wrong. Sorry, this should be homozygous. Okay, sorry, there was a typo. Philip the Corgi has short legs and he has a girlfriend named Mimi. Mimi also has short legs and is homozygous recessive. Oh, uh, still wrong. Sorry. This is heterozygous. I don't know why recessive was there. No, it is homozygous recessive. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, it's homozygous recessive, not heterozygous. Sorry. Okay, anyway, let's, let's go over it again. Philip the Corgi has short legs, and he has a girlfriend named Mimi. Mimi also has short legs and is homozygous recessive. Determine the genotypes and phenotypes, the puppies that Mimi and Philip can have. So now we need to determine what is Philip's genotype. So it's asking you for genotype, the letter and allele combination. So Philip has short legs. Okay. The leg height, short legs. So he has little l, little l. What is Mimi's genotype? So she also has short legs and is homozygous recessive. So remember again, homozygous means same letters. Recessive means small letters. So she has the same small letters and she has short legs. So that means she has little l, little l. Okay, let's make these bigger. Okay, so little l, little l. So now complete the punny square. What is Philip's genotype? Short legs, so little l, little l. Mimi's phenotype, also little l, little l. Okay, so now we do the cross. First, we bring down the little l from Philip. So two boxes under it. Then we bring down this other little l from Philip down to the two boxes under it. Next, we're going to take the little L from here from Mimi, bring it over to the side. And same thing, bring it over here too. Here, bring this little L from Mimi to the side. And there we go. So what are the possible genotypes that the puppies can have? So looking inside the boxes, we can see they are all little L, little L. All four of them have little L, little L. So that's the only possible genotype that the puppies can have. So what are the phenotypes that they can have? What does little, little, little L, little L code for? So if you look
look up here, little l, little l is for short legs. So that is the only phenotype that the puppies can have. Okay, so next three problems, try to do them on your own. This one is about the tail shape. So I put it here for you guys. This one is about fur length. So how long the fur is going to be for the babies, either short fur or long fur. And then here, it's also about fur length. Okay. So that is the packet for the week. Okay. So you have your vocab first. Okay. Definitions. Put them in the vocab boxes. Either draw a picture, use the word in a sentence. Bill Nye. Again, if you want me to send you the link, I can. Or you can just look it up yourself on YouTube. Bill Nye Jeans. Take 10 notes. DNA labeling, remember just put the appropriate letter that goes there that matches it. You can use this strand to help you, or you can look at page 135 in the book. Here, homozygous or heterozygous, so label it as either HO for homozygous or HE for heterozygous. And then finally, the punnett squares. Again, if you need help with any part of it, feel free to email me or message me, and I will do my best to help. All right, bye, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you need anything.